So let's pop back over here and I'm gonna change this app to the uh, Omnichannel for Customer Service app, right? I'm just gonna click on this. And we'll see our presence start to load. Uh, you can see in the top right it's spinning and then we get the, the full screen uh, presence loading here. It's going up to the server. It's getting the latest configuration and conversation ready, authenticating, preparing to receive notifications. There we go, right? So we know that it's loaded because we have the uh, green presence icon here in the top right. And uh, this this all looks good. So this is this is what an agent would sign into. So if you're an omnichannel agent, you would come straight here and you would um, be able to uh, be ready for conversations, okay? Now, one thing I wanna note here is, uh, it looks like in this trial, we have this inbox setup, okay? So the inbox is a different way of how to uh, interact with clients when conversations come in. And what we wanna do what I want to do really for this demo is change this back to the non-inbox way. Okay, so um, so if I clicked on inbox, I'll just kind of show you what it looks like. So we could see here that it, it looks like an Outlook inbox. Okay, um, we can see here that these are, there's two different views here. There's cases and conversations. And the cases, uh, if you click on each of these, it's just like reading email, right? You click on one of these emails and then it'll display uh, in the full pane on the in the middle here in this case, okay. So and then an agent can go in and uh, deal with this case and um, you know route it appropriately. So um, that's the cases view. And then with conversations, if you change it to conversations, we don't have any conversations here, but this is uh, the the same idea, okay. And then on the right here we have the uh, the smart assist that's popping up, so it's that's helping us. Um, resolve uh, cases and conversations, right? So, you know, the inbox inbox view is cool, um, but I wanna set it back to the, to the original view. So to do that, let's jump over here and we're gonna go to the uh, make.powerapps.com, right? So the Power Apps Maker portal, and let's go down to apps. And of course, change your environments in the top right. Uh, here's the trial that I signed up for. And I'm going to go to apps. And so each of these uh, takes us to the same place. It's gonna be either the customer service workspace, app profile manager, right? So that's what we're after, the app profile manager. And you could also do the same thing with Omnichannel for customer service here and go to the app profile manager. So same place, uh, I'm gonna click here and wait for that to load and here it is. So uh, if we click on the app profiles, so basically these profiles are, um, you, they're basically ways to group functionality for, uh, for users, okay? So you could have many users that belong to a profile and the profile can be set up to 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 um, look the same uh, for for different agents. Okay, um, so this will make a little bit more sense when we go into it. So we we can see here we have these specific profiles set up. If I look at the Omnichannel for customer service uh, default profile, and you can see here we have an inbox one as well. If I click on the default profile. And then if I go to inbox, uh, we can see here that the inbox view is turned off, okay? So that's the view that, that, that puts that little inbox icon there, okay? If we go back to um, the app profiles here and we click on the inbox uh, here, and then we go here, we see that it's on, okay? So there's, a, there's, you know, there's an easy way to control that. What we can do is we can click on new profile and I'm gonna call this, um, let's just call it custom profile. Give it a unique name and it's asking for a prefix plus name. So I'm just gonna do, let's do 
this dyn underscore uh, custom profile and description if you want we don't need it let's click save okay so this is going to save our profile so if we click on let's go through each of these so product uh, session templates is basically uh, the templates that are going to load so when a omnichannel chat comes in the agent will see a particular setup of the screen so this is going to be the uh, the template that gets loaded and then we have uh, the productivity pane here um, so the productivity pane we can see here basically the this is on the right hand side so if I were to toggle this we see that uh, we can turn on smart assist for example we can turn on the knowledge search so that when the uh, chats come in we can automatically look up knowledge base articles and display uh, some some articles for the agent to be able to quickly resolve the case uh, we have agent scripts that will guide agents through uh, each of these chats when they come in uh, so you know lots of functionality here that we can turn on right uh, and that's that's what we see on the right hand side again okay so the the far right pane is what you see here and the agent can toggle uh, opening and closing of these um, of the pane but uh, you know the other way to do it is also just to disable it completely and that's what uh, this would be here so I'm just going to turn this off um, then we have the channels here so the omni channel for customer service channels so that's each of those channels I spoke about earlier whether it's the chat channel SMS or WeChat uh, WhatsApp whatever right so we're gonna say that this particular uh, profile has access to all of the channels so I'm going to flip that and then here is and then we have the uh, the voice channel providers here on the right we can ignore that for now uh, the inbox and this is the inbox experience right so I am going to keep it at keep this as off and uh, basically uh, you know you won't get the inbox view so we'll see what that looks like so let's keep that off. Uh, that's everything that we need here. And we have the configuration all set for the custom profile. So now we click on assign users, right? And then this says, this will open a uh, unified interface in a new tab. Click okay. And we're taken over to the Omnichannel administration app and we'll be able to assign uh, which users we want to this profile okay so there's there's no one in the profile because it's new so I'm gonna click add existing user and I'm just gonna select myself here I'm gonna click add and it says it's I'm already assigned to another profile right so take a look at this error message and let's click OK please remove the user from the customer service trial profile. All right, so that's a very helpful message. I'm gonna go back here, gonna find the, uh, go back to app profiles, customer service trial profile, that's this one. And assign users. And we should see me come up here in this subgrid and then I'll be able to just remove myself from this one add myself to the other one so here I am let's go ahead and click remove so it's just removing me from the profile and then I tab back over here to the custom profile add user add myself in click add all set all right so now I'm part of this profile uh, so now let's go back over to the Omni channel uh, for a customer service app and I haven't refreshed the page yet, right? So you see the old inbox profile here. Let's go ahead and click uh, refresh and load. And we'll see it's gonna pull down the latest configuration. It's gonna take a few, a few seconds. Give that a second.
And there it is. Okay, so we, we're in the app. Uh, we do not see the inbox over here, right? Um, so let's go ahead and and initiate our chat now, okay? So here's our website chat and here's the widget. So all we gotta do, so just pretend, you know, that, that I'm a customer, I'm playing two roles here, right? Um, one is that I am a, a customer of this website. The other role is that I'm an agent, right? And maybe the thing to do here is just to uh, pop this out so we can see this a little bit more clearly. So what I'll do, I'm gonna pop this out here and I'm just going to put this a little bit here on the right. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to put this over here. And let's make it like this, right? Because all we need to see is the chat down here in the bottom right. And we're going to see the chat come through for the agent, right? All right, so now the uh, inbox view is turned off in the app profile manager for my user. So now we can uh, try this out. Let's see what it looks like, right? So let's go over here to the uh, to the chat. I'm gonna click the chat. And this is gonna open up. And now if we go back over to Omnichannel for customer service and we see the chat coming in here, we're gonna click accept. And now what will happen is uh, the the chat will come in. We can see here that it's opened up uh, without the inbox view, okay? So let's just kind of take a quick look at what's going on here on the screen. So this is the Omnichannel for Customer Service app. On the left-hand side, we have the Home button, and then we have this first tab here that is the Visitor 1 tab. Uh, so basically, if we had multiple uh, customers we're chatting with, we'd be able to uh, see those appear here, and we could just click on each of those tabs. And uh, we'll, we'll see what that looks like um, in another video. So we, we, th this is the tabs. You can click on this little uh, button here to collapse the session and uh, the session list and open that up again. It's just gonna minimize that. Uh, then we have here the, the count. So uh, this is how long we've been in this particular session with this customer. We have the end button. That's gonna end the conversation. So we're not gonna do that now. Um, down here is where we type the message and this is, so this is a public message that we're going to type to the customer and, uh, we'll take a look at private messages as well between different agents and supervisors and stuff. Um, then in the, the middle of the right here, we have the, uh, the customer summary tab. And basically this is the, this is the, uh, customer summary form that we're looking at here. Uh, because the user has not identified themselves, uh, we we do not see a user uh, a, a customer filled in here. So um, you know if we were using Active Directory uh, Azure AD or something for the users to authenticate or some other system, we could tie that in here so that it would automatically pick up the customer record and display a whole bunch of customer information. But because they haven't authenticated, we're not gonna be seeing any of that customer information on this particular record, okay? Uh, and once again, this is like the, the simplest chat experience that, that we're looking at. Um, if we scroll down, we have the pre-chat survey variable. So if you have any pre-chat survey uh, that you've enabled for a chat, then those variables that, gets, that get created, which is the answers, those are going to appear here in this list. Um, we have visitor details, which is going to show us some information about, uh, the, you know, whether the user was authenticated, where they're coming from, the, uh, the type of browser they're using, their operating system, their device, uh, you know, the, the, the language that's important. And then, you know, how long they were waiting for as well. Um, you, there's, we're going to see a whole lot of, of, of analytics that come out of this so that we can improve the. Uh, experience for the for the users right for the for the customers right specifically so um, so all that information is there and then we got uh, we can link it to a case here and then so that's that's all of the details that we're seeing there and then on the right hand side uh, we have the the smart assist which is popped open here so uh, this is basically going to help us with uh, 
particular uh, keywords that are appearing in the chat. It's going to find information if we uh, want the agents to uh, have a little helping hand on resolving their cases. We also have here, if we click in the middle, we have the agent scripts. Uh, we don't have any agent scripts assigned here to this, but this would guide the agents through the experience. And then we have here a knowledge search, so the agents can uh, uh, look up information themselves. So, so that's that's the uh, that is the most simplest uh, chat experience that that we have. And let's go ahead and type a message here and see what this looks like. So, if I'm an agent, I say hi, and then I can go back over to the chat. And we can see here that uh, it says that uh, I have said hi, me the agent. And then as the customer, I can type back, right? So I'm typing back and I'm saying hello here. And what's interesting is if you look back on the agent screen, you'll see here it says neutral. So neutral is the uh, sentiment that we're deriving automatically from this chat. and. So we can, uh, this is useful because we can, we can determine if a customer is, is upset or not, right? Or if they're very happy, right? And uh, this is very useful for, for supervisors because when they're looking at chats, they can see the, uh, the sentiment and they can take actions appropriately if they need to, okay? So if a chat is, uh, it has like a very negative sentiment, then the agents, uh, then the, the supervisor may jump in on the chat um, and just make sure that everything's going on okay. You know, so there's ways that they can handle that if that situation happens. So, you know, if we type in here, for example, I am very happy, then we have a slightly positive uh, sentiment being returned. And then if we say, actually, I am very unhappy, whoops. So if we say I'm very unhappy and then we get a slightly negative sentiment, right? So uh, so that's kind of the experience there. There's, there's if we go down here, we can see the, the quick replies. Um, so there's, there's nothing coming up here, but we can enable that to uh, send messages that we commonly send like, uh, hi, how are you? Or, uh, you know, how can I help you? Things like that to, so that the agents don't have to type things all the time. Um, we also have consult here where we can consult with other people in our organization. Um, we can actually transfer over here to uh, other agents and queues. And um, we have here uh, where we can take notes and link to conversations and things like that. Okay. So uh, lots of functionality in the agent experience. And if the agent wants to go ahead and uh, finish the conversation or uh, basically what could happen is the, let's, let's go and tab back to what the customer uh, is typing. So, th so the customer could type in here and say, um, my issue has been resolved, thank you. And uh, the agent can say, uh, thanks, have a nice day. And then they can, uh, go ahead and just end this conversation here. And then that's going to close it out basically. And then the, the conversation's finished. They can X out of this here and then close the session. And if we look at the customer on this side, uh, we can see that um, the conversation has been completed. So that's the, that's the basic chat experience. In more videos, we're going to go into some more details about how to customize this even further. Thank you so much. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.